Hey, my bosses, how y'all doing? Boss Creation Studio here with another production. As y'all can see in this video, we are going to be sublimating some sublimation tumblers using a convection oven. <laughs> now, with all I'm doing, I'm prepping these tumblers. That's what I'm doing. I have printed out my instruments already. Customer ordered yet another meme item. She sent me a meme, said, yo, this is what I want on this tumbler. I kind of did it mimicking the meme. The only difference is I have a different Yoda than the one that they sent me. I'll see if I can leave a little picture somewhere in the corner somewhere of the meme that I got the inspiration from that she sent me. So y'all can see where it came from. So printed everything out. About to cut everything up. Get everything situated. Get everything done. Anyways, I'm going crazy, y'all. It is about, what, six something in the afternoon here in Florida while I'm editing this video. Guys, I've been trying to do a live talk video and my time schedules and everything is so off. I my office is in the middle of my living room. I turned my dining room into my office and I have my children in the room playing video games, my husband in the living room playing his video game or watching wrestling or watching something on the television. I never have any time or pizza quiet anything to myself where I can actually do a video, sit and talk, do a I always have to do a voiceover. So I apologize for always being a voiceover. I'm going to try my best to try and get everything situated to a point where I can do a face-to-face, -face, sit down, face talk, tutorial, hands in, free, live. You know, you know, you know, you know. But until then, we're going to rock out with these voiceovers. Anyways, so right now, as I'm saying, um, just we are just cutting out some vid cutting out these t images. Hit you back in a few. All right, now since we got everything all cut out, get uh, you can get your tape prepped, cutting out the little strips of tape because with sublimation, especially on these tumblers, you got to make sure you have your picture secured and sealed on the image or else you will have ghosting. And that means all your ink is not going to transfer over on your tumbler. So when you're taping, you got to make sure all four corners are taped down. It is tight. To the tumbler tight as it can be to the tumbler and all corners are sealed I am going to tape down all the sides and then I am going to put a shrink wrap sleeve over each tumbler so we can seal it more and tighten up the image on the picture on the tumbler more and more secure so, four pieces of tape, one for each corner. It's a two-sided tumbler. So, now I'm going to turn this tumbler all the way around. And we're going to put the image on the opposite side. Now, when I, I printed my image using my Epson 26, 2760 um converted it's an eco tank and it's converted to sublimation ink all i did was just added my sublimation ink that's all the conversion that it needed i used a sub paper high quality presentation matte setting on the print settings All right, bosses, now we're on to the second cup. Same scenario. Mm -hmm. Put your picture on it. Make sure it's nice and tight towards the tumbler. And then you are going to tape it down all four corners on both sides. After, we do, after I do this, I am going to stick the shrink wrap sleeve over it and heat 
heat use the heat gun to secure it and seal it in and then we're going to move over to the tumbler i think i lost most of the footage for that one but y'all get the process and the little the little snippet that you guys that you guys will see in the clip coming up but like i said seal tape down all four corners put your shrink wrap sleeve sleeve over it use your heat gun to shrink it onto the tumbler and then we're gonna go over to the um the convection oven catch y'all back in a few or no debris or physical evidence of any sort to support this theory so it was just mind-boggling and for me personally and I believe most of the passengers we didn't accept that the plane had ended its journey or crashed into the ocean all right y'all we're back over here at the convection oven what i have is a black and decker oven that i got from walmart um i am going to stand these up in the oven it is set at 350 and i'm going to do it for six minutes rotating in between time so i said stand them up in the middle of the oven close the door and watch after two minutes i'm gonna come and rotate after another two minutes i'll come and rotate again and another two minutes i'll come and rotate you don't necessarily have to rotate them but you gotta let them sit in there for the the length of time so the ink does have time to adhere to the actual tumbler Coming in, rotating each one, close it back. Let it sit in there for a little while and then come back and rotate again. So after you've rotated, make sure you always wear your heat gloves. Got these heat gloves for I believe $6.99 on Amazon. We're gonna take them out and we're gonna set them to the side so they can cool off before we take the shrink wrap off and reveal the results. So, I'm gonna take these out, set them to the side. I'll be back when we're, it's time to reveal the pictures. Okay, guys, gotta make, I'm trying to make sure these things are not all the way cooled down. Couldn't wait any longer, so. I'm a little impatient when it comes to the results and the reveal. So what we're doing now, we're just taking the shrink wrap off. It's kind of hard for me to take it off with these gloves, but it's not all the way cooled down yet. It will be shortly, so you're going to see me remove at least one of these gloves soon. But I used my weeding tool to go in between the, um, the wrap the shrink wrap and the tumbler without scratching the tumbler then we're going to get down to the tape and remove the tape once the shrink wrap has gotten heated up it kind of gets all crinkly and crackly and stuff that's why it's a little hard for it to come off but you're gonna see a little trick that I'm gonna do I don't remember if it was on this one or if it was on the second one where we're just going to use the weeding tool and we're just gonna go up the whole the whole thing and just do a pop a line pop a line all the way down the tumbler instead of oh there it is pop the line all the way down instead of doing it strip by strip because this was taking a little too long i checked it to make sure i didn't break my weeding tool because i thought i did at one point but i didn't okay got all of that off 
I'll set that to the side and now we're going to didn't let you see now we're going to take off the um, tape now it's hard for you to remember in which direction you taped it in so that's the part that's gonna take the longest to see which direction you need to pull your tape in order to take it off but <clears throat> Use the weeding tool again. Lift up that one edge. Pull it off. Go out the side and put that off. And here we go. Nope, I'm gonna teach. Nope, I was gonna teach y'all. Nope, not gonna teach y'all. And voila. Look at that. Now that is what you call a beautiful tumbler. Oh, yes. Now I'm going to go through and take off the rest of it. I'll see y'all in a bit. Hey, bosses. Hey, I would like to take this opportunity to say, please subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you would like to see any more Bosch Creations productions. I try to my best to do at least two videos a week. If not, at least one video a week and on my good weeks we do three hey, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you absolutely be notified every time I upload a video I do my orders on here if you guys would like any tutorials or any any type of videos that you guys have not seen leave me a little note in the comment box down below and I'll sure to go ahead and get that video out there to you all right guys back to the video All right, y'all, we have revealed the results. Now I'm gonna clean up the little area a little bit, put the, attach the top, add the, um, bring out back the straws, bring out back the box. We're going to add the little rubber bottom to the bottom, and we are going to package up this order because it is going to be a hand delivery tomorrow. Now these tumblers came with a little rubber sticker bottom at the bottom, so that's what I am doing, placing on the little rubber bottom, as well as putting them back in their cellophane bags along with their straws, and putting them in their boxes. These boxes came with them, with the with the um with these tumblers that I ordered on this go round. And all I did was just add my logo label to the front. Stick the little straw in the front because it is a little taller than the box. But if you stick it to the front where you put the flap down, it'll be fine. It's just going to be sticking out a little at the top. But put it upside down so the cellophane, the bottom part of the so closed part of the cellophane is what's at the top. So nothing gets in or on it. Now we're going to do the same thing for the second one. First, we're going to add. First, we're going to take off the little silver top. <coughs> Excuse me. Take off the little silver dot. Add your rubber bottom. And put it in the cellophane bag. Tuck it back into the box and add your straw. Alright guys, everything's back in the box. I'm going to add my business cards to each one of these boxes through the top slits. And then we're going to <clears throat> add them to... Um, add them to our bags for delivery. So since this is a hand delivery, I am just going to use this gift bag with a few pieces of tissue paper. Put them side by side inside the bag in between the tissue paper. And that is what we have, a packaged, ready-to-go bag 
for hand delivery. Thanks you guys for watching. If you like what you please see, please like, comment, and subscribe. A little DeBoss Creation confetti. See y'all.